today we have a new video. It's gonna be a vlog. So have fun. Where are we going today, Kennedy? Jill's got to reach sizes of six feet across her floor. The animal that looks kind of like a small dolphin is an ichthyosaurus. <laughs> if you said stegosaurus, you're right. Stegosaurus is a Jurassic plant eater whose back stegosaurus had a special weapon. Along its tail, it had a set of spikes called a thagomizer that it would use to defend itself from predators. And the predator it had to worry about the most was Allosaurus. T Rex isn't the only scary meat eating dinosaur we have here at Jurassic Quest. Long arms for a theropod with big hooked claws. As an orange animal is using force to move heavy weight with their bodies. They might have used their arms to keep prey from getting away. Baryonyx. Baryonyx was a carnivore, and specifically, it ate fish. We know that it ate fish because when the first baryonyx skeleton in the 80s, it had fossilized fish bones and fish scales inside of its belly. As one of its last meals was fish, this could be the earliest evidence of anyone in the UK ordering fish and chips. What is special is that it is the largest dinosaur that we know of with feathers of the raptor family. Now behind him is a predator named Sia. Rex took the stage. Also in this scene, you'll see Deinonychus, or Deinonychus if you prefer. The name means terribly Hello. And the director just thought that Velociraptor sounded cooler. <laughs> Make sure to pause your audio tour so know that at least one Velociraptor attacked a Protoceratops, the next dinosaur in this scene. This is thanks to the fossil of a Velociraptor broke the Velociraptor's arm with its powerful beak moments before they were both buried in sand by a landslide. The other dinosaur in the scene, Oviraptor, has hands. It is believed to be an herbivore, but we are still looking for more fossils to know for sure. The dinosaur next to it is a Loro Titan, lived in Wethiosaurs, which are famous for the elaborate crests on their heads. These crests would have certainly served as display structures wandering around the park. Hi, Park Rhinoramus from Mongolia. Both have awfully long, narrow noses for members of the Tyrannosaur family. We're not sure what those noses may have been used for. Maybe to cut through water, making them faster, more accurate fishermen, or maybe they were specializing in smaller, faster Now we travel to Argentina. The big animal you see in this scene is Giganotosaurus, arguably one of the largest meat-eating dinosaurs. Formation of South Dakota and had a beak with no teeth, meaning thick-headed lizard, named after its thick, domed skull. It is often depicted as being used to headbutt each other for dominant play, and that the large dome didn't grow until much later. And if that sounds like something from a Harry Potter book, that's because it's a dragon. There are some who think that as this dinosaur ate, I'm a 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 I'm a